Hi guys, it's story time with Grandma. Tonight we're going to read a zoo for Mr. Muster. Every sunny day, Mr. Muster put on his vest and coat and hat and walked happily along the street to his favorite place, the Park Zoo. Mr. Muster loved all the animals in the zoo, and all the animals in the zoo loved Mr. Muster. The elephants trumpeted loudly when they saw him coming through the entrance gate. The lions began to roar. The birds and monkeys screeched and chattered their welcome. There was so much noise that the zookeeper had to put his fingers in his ears. Mr. Muster always spent the whole day at the zoo. When night came, Mr. Muster felt sad. He hated to say goodbye to the animals, and they hated to say goodbye to him. I only live at the end of the street, sighed Mr. Muster, but it seems far, far away when I must leave my friends. Mr. Muster did not live alone. He had two goldfish in a large bowl and a canary that sang all the time. Still, when it was rainy or snowy or sleety and Mr. Muster could not go to the zoo, he felt very lonely and missed his friends very much. One day, while the zookeeper was taking a nap, an elephant took away his key. That night, the elephant opened all the cage doors. The animals knew exactly what they wanted to do. They walked to the big apartment house where Mr. Muster lived and tiptoed past the doorman. Mr. Muster had just gone to bed when his doorbell rang. Goodness gracious, said Mr. Muster when he found all his friends outside the door. Come in, oh, do come in, he said. The next morning, the zookeeper could not believe his eyes. My animals are gone, they're gone, he cried. The policeman came and began searching everywhere. In the apartment house where Mr. Muster lived, someone saw an elephant in the elevator and a hippopotamus in the hallway. Some strange things began to happen, and some strange noises were heard from behind Mr. Muster's door. Someone called the police, and they came quickly. The zookeeper came, zookeeper came with them. The policeman knocked loudly on Mr. Muster's door. Open up in the name of the law, they cried. The door opened slowly. There stood Mr. Muster. Good day, gentlemen. Won't you join us for lunch, he said. In the middle of the table was a huge chocolate cake that Mr. Muster had baked. The zookeeper and the policeman were too surprised to speak. Finally, the zookeeper said, all these animals must come back to the zoo at once. At this, there was a great roaring and trumpeting and screeching as the animals ran from the table to find hiding places. Halt in the name of the law, shouted the policeman. The animals hid in the bathroom and in the bedroom, any place they could find. Mr. Muster, said the zookeeper, perhaps they will listen to you. Please, please, Mr. Muster, ask them to come back to the zoo. If you can do this, I'll do anything for you. I'll make you an assistant zookeeper with a uniform and a badge. When they heard this, all the animals jumped from their hiding places. They all marched back to the zoo with Mr. Muster in the lead. Soon the animals were happily in their cages at the park zoo. And happiest of all was Mr. Muster, with his uniform, his badge, and all his friends close by all the time. Mr. Muster, assistant zookeeper on duty, 24 hours a day. And that is the end of the story of a zoo for Mr. Muster. <laughs>